Hey there developers, I'm Boni from Metaschool and today we are going to be creating our very own fungible token and even mining some for ourselves. Um, if you find value in this video and appreciate what we're doing, hitting the subscribe button is like mining a valuable block of support for our channel. Let's dive in together and get started. In case you aren't familiar with how to set up the development environment, then we have already made a video in which we have done the same and also written up our very first smart contract on the Sui blockchain. You can go in and check the videos out. The links will be there in the description down below. I'll highly suggest that you go in and watch that particular video and then get back over here so as to continue creating our very own fungible token. We also have the complete documentation and code snippets at metaschool.so. So if you want, you can go in and pick up the free course and get yourself a cool NFT upon completing the course as well. All right, people, so first things first, uh, let's set up our coding environment. I'll assume that you've already installed the latest version of Sui and Trust. Just to be on the safer side, um, open your terminal and type Sui hyphen hyphen version. This command will go in and show you the version of Sui that has been installed within your system. This is important because we want to make sure that there is no mismatch between the client and server API. Now, let's create our Sui project folder. This workspace environment will be holding the basic files for running our move files. So we're going to go in and use the command sui move new and then followed up by the name of our project. You can go in and replace Metaschool with any name of your liking. Now inside of this folder, you can see there's a folder called sources. Let's go in and create a new file inside of it. Let's call it pepe.move. I'm naming my token as pepe. You can go in and name it to your own liking. Now, before we jump into writing up some code, we need a wallet. If you created a wallet already, then run sui client active address. This should go in and show you the address of the wallet that you've already created. In case you haven't, then you can go in and run the command, which is sui client new address and follow it up with the key phrase, which is ed25519. Once you go in and you press enter, you will be going in and getting the address to your newly created wallet. Now let's get some fake funds by running Sui client faucet. And you can check whether you've received the funds by running Sui client gas. All right, let's get down to writing up our smart contract. We'll be writing our code using the move programming language. So in terms of move, the very first thing that we'll have to create is a module. I'm gonna create one called Pepe and this will contain the implementation of our token. Now, what we're going to need is the coin library. This library provides functionalities for working with the Sui's coin object. It's pretty important for us to be able to represent our fungible token. In order to create a token, we'll create a struct with the drop functionality. Next, we need a function to initialize the coin object. So we'll be using the create currency function from the coin module to create the resource and the metadata that we're going to be needing for our token. Uh, this is going to be requiring the witness, decimal places, symbol, token, and everything that you can see right now within the function definition. We are also going to have to go in and freeze the metadata. So we'll be using the public freeze object function so that no one can change the coin metadata once it's published. And finally, we'll be transferring the treasury to the center of the transaction using the public transfer function so that we can go in and have ownership of that particular uh, token. Finally, let's create a mint function. This function will be responsible for going in and minting a certain amount of tokens to a particular recipient whom we can specify using the address. We are also going to be going in and passing it the mutable reference to the transaction context as well as part of the arguments. Inside of the function, we'll be calling the mint and transfer function to mint new tokens and transfer them to the so-called specified recipient. And now we are all set to go in and deploy our smart contract. We'll be using the devnet for this purpose. So let's create a new environment and give it an alias um, as devnet and set it for the RPC that we have over here. 
Now we can switch the dernet by using sui client switch command and finally we can publish a smart contract by using sui client publish and then specifying the gas budget. Now we also require to go in and specify the path of our move file over here. So you can just right click on the file, copy the path and paste it down in your terminal and press enter. Once the entire process is complete, Let's copy our transaction digest and paste it in the SUI Explorer. Make sure on the DevNet and not on TestNet as in such. I already have my wallet connected to the Explorer over here as well. Now, if we scroll to our latest transaction, you should be able to go in and see our newly created currency. Now, let's go in and mint some tokens, right? So we're going to be requiring a few components or few data over here so as to go in and do the minting process. The very first thing that we have is, okay, so in order to mint the coins, we'll be using the CLI itself. Now, in order to go in and uh, call our mint function, we'll have to pass it a few parameters. The very first thing is gonna be the package ID, which you can easily go in and find under the published objects section. So you can go in and copy it up and paste it out somewhere so that you can uh, finally go in and put it out in this particular command. The next thing we'll need is the treasury cap that can be found using the SUI Explorer. Um, it's the new object that has been assigned to your wallet address. So you can just copy its address and uh, let's just paste it here for ease of uh, access later up ahead. Now we can go into minting some tokens using the SUI client call command. Uh, we can specify the function to be executed followed by the module and then the package ID that we've already went in and copied out. Now, we using the arguments flag, we can specify the treasury cap, the coin amount, and then follow it up with the recipient address. I'll set the recipient address as my own wallet because I want the tokens for myself for the time being. Finally, let's specify the gas budget and press enter. Once the transaction goes through, we should be able to go in and see the newly minted token in our wallet using the SUI Explorer. And there you go, uh, we've created our very own currency and minted some to ourselves as well. I hope this short video was super helpful for you. Uh, please do let us know of any issues that you might have faced in the comments down below or rather if you want, you can also reach out to us using our Discord channel as well. Until next time, uh, Godspeed and we're all gonna make it.